my gosh. What a dramatic ending to my trip, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Hello! What's up everybody? I can't believe that I am back so soon filming another travel video. I was just in Japan like a month ago and if you haven't watched those videos yet, make sure to go check them out. There's four parts to that trip, tons of content and yeah, Japan is my favorite place in the world so I love sharing it with people. So go give those a watch if you haven't yet but today I am headed off to London which has been a very surprising, unexpected trip for me. I'm going for work, um, because you already know that I could not be affording like back-to-back -back international trips. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to go on this trip at all. Um, the opportunity just kind of came up, and I wish that I could take more time once I'm there, but I was just on a pretty decently long vacation in Japan. So um, yeah, I'm only gonna be there eight and a half days, which Sounds like a long time, but five of those days are working days. So um, I think those days are gonna be kind of crazy and they're actually a little bit outside of the city. So I'm not anticipating like filming or doing too many exciting things during that time. Who knows? I am not really sure what to expect, so we'll just have to see. But yeah, I think the majority of the content in this video is going to be from my first three days in London, which are all just wide open for exploring the city. And I think that it's gonna be a decent amount of time. I'm traveling by myself, so I like to go, go, go when I travel. And I have a big list of things that I wanna do. And yeah, I think that I'm gonna be able to do mostly everything on my list. We'll see how long certain things take, but I am very excited. I feel like London is one of those bucket list places for a lot of people and it's just iconic for so many reasons so i'm really excited to go and about to head to the airport so i will see you on the other side Um, I'm at my hotel right now. I got here at like 8.45 in the morning and somehow they had a room available. Um, I think it's like a slight downgrade from what I booked because it's literally just like a twin bed, but I don't care because it was available and I thought that I was just gonna have to like get ready in the bathroom downstairs and then leave all of my luggage at the desk. So I much prefer being able to like come up and freshen up change clothes, leave all my stuff here. Honestly, a freaking win, and I was not expecting it, so not mad about. And I'm only here for one night, actually, and then starting tomorrow, I'll be staying at the hotel that my company booked for me. Yeah, I have one like major thing on my list today is the Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio Tour. It's at five o'clock and I think it's gonna take me a while to get there too. Of course, it's like not really close to anything. Um, so my plan is to just kind of basically walk around until I need to go. Um, I'm not that far away from Kensington Palace and Hyde Park. And then I think I'm gonna try and get over to like Buckingham Palace and the mall a little bit today. I'm just gonna see like as much as I can and yeah, just walk around a bunch until I have to head over to the tour.
I have managed to do a lot today in a very short amount of time. I started at Kensington Palace, walked all the way through Hyde Park to Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, and then kept going basically until I got to Covent Garden, which is where I'm at now. It's a big shopping area. I have no idea how much I've walked, but I have just been walking for three and a half hours basically. And yeah, starting to feel the, the effects of my two hours of sleep a little bit. But I'm not really hungry, so I was thinking maybe I should stop somewhere for food, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just go into some shops and meander around and slow down. It's literally only one o'clock, so I have done way more today than what I thought I was going to do. seriously with this stupid headset on. I look like a freaking nerd. It's only like 4.30. My tour technically starts at 5, but I think you can start lining up like 20 minutes ahead of time. So I probably will just because there's a lot of people here. And then I already walked through the gift shop, um, kind of scoped out what I'm gonna get at the end. Pro tip, if you are coming here from London, um, there's like a certain train that you have to take to get to Watford Junction and Watford Junction is where the shuttle bus takes you to the actual Warner Brothers tour but that train at Watford Junction is one that you have to get a ticket for in advance which is not like the other trains here like sorry I don't know why I'm like trying to eat and talk um the other trains in London are just like you just tap your phone and scan your credit card um but for some reason the train from London to Watford Junction was like you had to go get a ticket for it um, in advance and then you have to show somebody when you get off. Unless you have like a travel card or something like that, a train card, which I don't have. Um, but yeah, I was running my butt off to get the ticket in time to, to make it on that train. So just something to look out for. All right, see you on the inside of the tour.
waiting behind me just to get on the train and take pictures. If you've ever been to um, Universal Studios, nice. It's dark in here, my camera doesn't know what to do. Pause. If you've ever been to Universal Studios, I was gonna say that train is really cool. I feel like it's probably very similar, even though I'm sure there's stuff in there that's like from the actual movie set. Um, but I don't wanna wait for that. Like, that is a long line. I just feel like they let too many people in here at once. That would be my biggest qualm. My camera battery is gonna die. Um, it's been a long day. I am headed out of the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio tour. I was there for two hours. Um, definitely could have spent a longer time, but like I said, there's just a lot of lines and waiting for things that I just didn't have the patience for. But I feel like I saw everything that I wanted to see. I really liked the audio guide. There's a lot of cool tidbits. Um, but yeah, now I am heading back to the bus stop to go back in the direction of my hotel and the food here was just not really speaking to me it was just like burgers and like chicken fingers and stuff like that so it I don't know I think I'm gonna get something else for dinner I am definitely running on low steam at this point I'm ready for bed <laughs> tired this morning it's like 10 o'clock right now and I am about to just finish packing up my things in the room I'm gonna leave my luggage downstairs and have the hotel store it for me while I go out and about today because at the end of today I need to take my stuff to a new hotel and this is a hotel that my company has booked for me it's like unfortunately like an hour away which kind of stinks it is what it is it's a free hotel so <laughs> i'll take it so yeah i'm gonna go to the borough market i don't really know what else i'm gonna do today i think i'll be there for a while we'll just see where the day takes us okay bye that I'm gonna go ahead and go on a long walk. I'm actually walking in the direction of the Columbia Flower Market, which is only on Sundays from 10 to 2. I'm going to pass like Shortage and a couple of other things that I had marked on my map. I could just walk straight there and then like walk back this direction and see those other things, but then that's a lot of walking.
I decided to walk to Camden Town. It's not just a market, there are like several markets here, but if you want to go to the one that I'm at, it's technically Camden Lock. Like there's so many different areas, I'm not really sure where I ended up. <laughs> I made it. Oh my goodness. That was a treacherous trip. The train that I was on was like freaking packed. Thankfully I got a seat because it was a long train. I ended up taking a bus actually to get closer to here and then for some reason my Google Maps took me in like the alley behind this hotel, like the back entrance. I'm like, I literally was like, what am I doing as I'm walking through there, you know, like by myself in the pitch dark, like back alley by the dumpsters. Thank you God for protecting me always. Tomorrow I was just thinking when I was on the train of doing something different because I feel like I actually did a lot of what I wanted to do in London. Like I went super hard for two days in a row and there really was only a couple of things that I didn't get to. I don't know, I might actually go to like Canterbury. I'm, I'm between like Canterbury and Oxford. All right, good morning. A decision has been made. I am going to Canterbury today. I think it'll be fun to see something a little bit different today and just have a different type of day overall. Probably a little bit more relaxed, more chilled out. I'm probably not going to stay like super late because I do have to wake up pretty early tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna try and get back here at a decent amount of time, maybe for dinner, and also so that I can go to the grocery store, get a couple of snacks, um, because yeah, tomorrow's gonna be crazy, and uh, I'm not ready for it. I'm just gonna enjoy today for now, okay? All right, let's do it. That's a good old American size. kids 13 through 18 and it's the oldest school in the world <laughs> at least that's what they're saying founded in like 597 AD officially stuffed. I couldn't <laughs> finish all of that, but I wish I could have because it was so good. Truly that scone is the best scone I've ever had in my life. Now I am going back to walking around. I don't know, just check out this entire area because there's a tons of streets just like filled with shops and then there's some gardens that I want to check out and a couple of other like random places I found on Google too. So the adventuring begins, it is a beautiful day, and I'm happy. This town is so interesting because one second you're in like an extremely old and historic area with like ruins, and then the next you're at like a freaking Zara and H&M. <laughs>
Okay, I'm headed back to the train station. I think I will be getting back around like 6.30, which should be perfect time for me to go to the store to get some groceries for the week and just kind of prepare for work <laughs> tomorrow and get to bed at a decent time. So I'm really, really glad that I decided to come to Canterbury, although I still would like to go to Oxford at some point, but yeah, there was like a lot more here than I expected. Definitely spent the whole day. Um, and it's just a really cute little town. I am back at my hotel and I'm about to eat my dinner, watch a little Netflix and then get ready for tomorrow. As far as like what I'm going to film from now on, I really don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty busy. So hopefully you have enjoyed the content so far because that's the gist. <laughs> several days later oh my gosh okay so i'm staying in london for one more day because my flight i was supposed to leave at 2 30 this afternoon it got delayed until like after midnight so there was basically zero way that i could make a connection on that time frame so travel rebooked me for tomorrow at noon so i've got one more night in london yay one more day let's have fun I would go alone for like the food area. Let's be real, I can't afford anything else in that place. And now I'm actually walking to like a market food hall. I'm not really hungry right now, so I'm hoping that the walk will like get my appetite up. dramatic ending to my trip <laughs> you guys <laughs> okay first of all um i had a very lovely evening so i really enjoyed tonight and then i was walking back to the train station and on my way a guy on a bike tried to yank my phone out of my hand so i had actually been warned about this as being like a thing that happens in london and i feel like as i've been walking around like i've definitely been kind of cognizant of it and i don't like try and just hold my phone out in the open um i usually like if i have long sleeves on what i try to do is like stick it in the sleeve and walk like this and really the only time that like I have my phone out is when I'm looking at it for directions, which is what I was doing tonight. So I was on my way to the train station and it was late. So like, there's hardly anybody out, you know, like it's, it, it's pretty chill. So I was like holding it like this, looking at my directions and a guy on a bike comes like flying past me and he tries to grab it like this out of my hand but he just didn't get a good grip on it or i had a better grip i don't even know but it definitely scared the crap out of me i just feel like if i would have had that taken i legitimately don't know what i would have done because i was like 45 minutes away from my hotel like i would have had no idea how to get there i just that would have been really bad so um thank god you know god was looking out <laughs> um but i kept walking then 
and a little bit a little ways ahead of me i came across like a group of people and this lady was like you need to be careful with your phone like this guy here just got his phone stolen um so apparently he drove past me and he ended up grabbing somebody else's phone which is really sad um and she also felt the need to throw in the fact that they carry knives with them sometimes which i definitely did not need to know um <laughs> but that's okay um yeah i'm safe and i definitely scared the crap out of everybody because i texted my fiance that it had happened and then i lost service right away because i jumped in the train so um anyway just be aware if you're coming to london that that's a thing like i had i had heard of it before um but it just happened so quickly that it's like i didn't even have time to react so but listen i survived and <laughs> It certainly made for a dramatic evening on my last day, which yeah, I don't want to end on a negative note. So I had a very, actually besides that happening, a lovely day today. Um, so unexpected, but I did a lot of things in London that like I had not done at all. So I'm really glad that I had another day and it's a lot more fun than just traveling today. Um, but yeah, I'm headed back tomorrow. Fingers crossed that the flights get out okay and yeah i i really enjoyed london i would definitely recommend giving it a visit if you've never been as always thank y'all for watching um i don't know when i'll see you next maybe next year when we head to thailand for our honeymoon but stay tuned you never know all right bye